So I went ahead and followed through with my plan to make a little magnet holder that sits in the stem. And you can see that right here. Put a magnet in there and that's magnetically levitating, which is why it's kind of a little bit bent. Um, you know, the strength of the magnet pushes it away. And unfortunately, there's no good way to get it under my extra thick keycaps. But regular keycaps seem to work fine. So I got this regular DSA key here with its normal thickness, you can see that. And it fits under there with plenty of room. So it works. And how does it make the key feel? Uh, a bit smoother, actually, would be the best way that I could describe it. It's just like, um, so instead of being such a harsh drop off a cliff, it's more of a, uh, a slightly more gentle fall as you press it. Uh, it's a bit hard to describe, but I, I will do, I'll do a force curve check shortly. It's just, you know, it's kind of tedious. <laughs> so I'll do that, I'll do that soon, get you the force curve, see how it changes. I'll do it with and without on the same exact switch so we can see the difference because I haven't done a force curve on my four millimeters um, stems yet either. So I'll be doing that probably tomorrow. Not tonight. I'm busy tonight. But yeah, it works out pretty good. Kind of neat. I think what I'm going to do is for, um, since, you know, I made this damn keycap, I will just put a little magnet holder right in there problem solved, right? <laughs> Rather than rely on this. And uh, this is a uh, 0.4 millimeters, so like two layers thick, and it's a little bendy. So I think I might make it a little bit thicker, and what I'll do is I'll just make this part of the stem just that much longer to make up for it. Though it doesn't, you know, it still seems to hold the keycap just fine. It's not really an issue. Yeah, I'm making lots of neat discoveries today, apparently. This is a fun project.